Hello everyone, this is Emily Cullum from Profound Logic Software, and today we're going to take a look at Genie subfile detection. Now, in case you aren't familiar with Genie, Genie is basically our browser-based tool that takes your 5250 screens or your green screens and converts them to a web page on the fly. We do go into more detail about Genie on our documentation site, so I do suggest checking out our documentation on Genie if you're not familiar with it. Now let's take a look at subfile detection. So the first thing I want to show you is a green screen version of a subfile record. I'm sure this is something that you all have seen before. You can see here this is a pretty standard screen with a subfile record format. It's formatted into some columns. Um, you can tell here that we have a product ID column, product name column, etc. We have separate rows for our separate records. Um, we can take an action on some of these records. For example, we can display a record by putting a 5 here and pressing enter. Shows us some more detail on this product. For the most part, this is a pretty standard screen that you would see in green screen. Now, if we look at the Genie web-based version of this screen, you can see here that the same rows and columns exist, but you now have the functionality that comes with using a grid widget. You can see that this is all the same information that we just saw in the green screen version. It's just placed in a much nicer looking grid widget. Here, um, the columns and rows are nicely separated. There is a scroll bar for you to use here that pages your grid, similarly to um, paging the grid in green screen. Um, we also have a nice feature here that highlights the rows as you mouse over them. Another nice thing that Genie does is it detects your subfile options as well. Um, you can see here that we have 2 equals change, 5, five equals display. Genie will detect the subfile options and place them in a combo box here in the option column. Um, now your users have the ability to not only type an option into one of these boxes. So for example, let's display this first record again. We can type a 5 here, hit enter, and it shows us a very similar screen to the screen that we looked at in the green screen version of this program. We can also go back and we can choose the display option from the combo box and it will automatically take us to the next screen. Um, that's just a little bonus that Genie does when it detects your subfiles. Is it also detects those subfile options, which just makes um, using the options a little easier. The best part about Genie is that Genie detects these subfiles without you needing to make any changes to your program at all. If we take a look at the Genie skin that we're using in the Genie administrator here, um, I'm using the hybrid skin for this example. This is our default Genie skin. You can see that, that, that we have quite a few subfile setting options here for the skin. Um, anything from detection settings to row colors, um, highlight colors, font colors. This gives you a lot of control um, over how your subfiles look in Genie. Now, the two most important settings are the detect subfile setting and the detect subfile patterns setting that we have here. Setting detect subfiles to true simply tells Genie that you want Genie to detect subfiles for you. Now, you can always set this to false if this is not something that you're interested in for your screens, of course, but this does default to true. So by default, Genie will detect those subfiles for you. If you have detect subfile pattern set to true, what Genie does is Genie will detect subfiles on your screen by looking for a pattern of rows that are formatted in the same way. For example, on our product maintenance screen here, I'm going to pull up the green screen version, you can see that the rows of this subfile are all formatted in the same way here. Each row has the same number of fields. They're all placed in the same spot. You can tell they're all lined up very nicely here. And you can see that there's an easily detectable pattern. 
Genie detects this pattern and assumes that this should be a subfile. Now, when it detects a subfile, it creates a grid widget over it, which is what we see here in the web version of the screen. Now, there are a few other ways that you can detect subfiles on your screen. If you choose not to use detect subfile patterns, you could also use the option headings setting. This will tell Genie to look for specific headings in order to detect a subfile on the screen instead of looking for patterns. So in this case, if we wanted to tell Genie to detect subfiles based on the opt option column heading, then we could simply type in opt here in the option headings and then Genie would look for subfiles based on that option heading and not based on patterns. Now it's important to note that the settings that you see here in the Genie Administrator will be used globally across all of your screens that you run in the skin. However, there are also screen level settings that you can use in order to detect subfiles. Let's take a look at these. We're going to turn design mode on and open up our properties panel here. You can see that most of these properties are the same properties that we found in the Genie Administrator. So we have options like detect subfile, detect subfile patterns. Um, we have a few that are not offered globally like subfile start and subfile end. But what's important to note is that your screen level properties will take precedence over your global properties. So, for example, if you have detect subfile set to false for your genie skin, however you want to detect a subfile on one of your genie screens, but just for that one screen, you could simply choose the detect subfile option on the screen level, and then it would detect the subfile on that screen, but not on your other screens, of course. Screen level properties also come in handy if Genie does not detect a subfile properly on your screen. So as I mentioned earlier, Genie simply looks for patterns on your screen when it is detecting a subfile. Sometimes the pattern on your screen is not a very discernible pattern or something breaks that pattern. And if that's the case, Genie's going to have a hard time detecting the entire subfile. For example, let's take a look at a different screen here. This is also an order maintenance screen. It's a pretty standard screen, but notice here that the subfile detection is a bit broken. Since we are using detect subfile patterns and this subfile has no consistent pattern, notice that some of these fields here are missing from the in stock column. Genie is only detecting part of this grid that it matches a pattern with. Notice that both of these rows pretty much have the same pattern here. We can fix this by simply making a few changes to the screen level properties. One way to fix this situation is to use the subfile start and subfile end properties for this screen. That way you can tell Genie exactly where to detect your grid. In this case, we're going to start the grid at row seven you can see this here, row 7, and we're going to end the grid at row 15. So let's give subfile start a 7 and subfile end a 15. Now I've already saved this screen to this skin, so we already have an identifier. So we're just going to hit the Save Screen button and refresh the screen. Now you can see that since we've told Genie where exactly to detect the subfile grid, it knows where to draw this grid widget. Now that the grid is being detected properly, we have all of the same features that we had on our previous screen. We have our subfile options on our combo box here. We can page the grid. We have this nice highlighting over the grid rows when we mouse over them, etc. Another way to fix a problem like this is to simply add a grid widget to your screen from the widgets toolbar. Now in order to do this, you'll first need to 
remove the subfile start and subfile end properties. You'll want to turn detect subfile to false for this screen. And we'll go ahead and save this screen and refresh it. And now you can see here that there is no grid being detected on this screen. So now what you'll want to do is turn design mode back on, go over here to our widget toolbar, and drag a grid out onto the screen. Now if you choose this method, the important thing to note here is that you will have to right click on the grid and choose send to back in order for your fields to show up over the grid. While this is another option, this option takes a little more time in order to get the columns to line up properly and to get your fields to fit right inside of the rows. I'm not going to make you sit through that. However, I do have an example where I've already added a grid widget onto the screen and resized the columns and resized my rows, etc. so that everything fits nicely inside of the grid. So this just gives you another option to think about if you're having some subfile detection issues. That pretty much wraps it up for our discussion on Genie subfile detection. Um, hopefully you all enjoyed this video. Of course, stay tuned for other videos from our team here at Profound Logic, and thank you for watching.